So why did I become an immigration lawyer when I wanted to not practice law after I went to law school? So the beginning of it is that law school was not as interesting as I thought it was, and the stuff that we are supposed to learn to do it just wasn't my cup of tea. So when I graduated, I didn't really plan on practicing law, and I got into all sorts of different things from helping to run a restaurant to you know, finance and, and brokerage and you know stocks and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but eventually, you know, a family friend of a friend of a friend needed someone to come by to help the office. And so I went over, and he was an immigration lawyer. And he had just got back from his party in the, in Dubai. And at that party, he got some major, major cases. Not some. He got like a dozen or more of these high-profile cases. Uh, one called EB-5, which is someone who uh, invests more than like a million dollars in the United States. Could be less, but uh, he gets a green card. But primarily, he got cases at this party of the top actor, actress, singer, director, uh, comedian, uh, martial artist, um, a scientist, all these different kinds of cases, who, who people who get green cards based on the fact that they're extraordinary in the top of the field. And he had so many cases, he couldn't handle them. So he brought me aboard to help a little bit with the office and stuff like that. So I went there and I was like, oh, wow, this is fascinating. Like these people have done really big things in their lives. And I'm really interested in getting to know about them and stuff. So I started working on those cases, they're called the EB1A Extraordinary Ability, and doing them, and I was, I was talking with the clients and learning about how they got to where they did, and I learned about their personalities, how they're go-getters, and they work really hard, and all the fascinating things when you're dealing with the top 1% of people who made it to the top 1% because they worked hard, not because they were given to them or something like that. So uh, I was like, wow, this is really interesting. Immigration law allows you to talk with all sorts of people uh, from across the world who want to come to the United States and are adventurous and resilient and very interesting. And that's what made us all. I'm like, I really like being an immigration attorney. And from there, you know, I started my own practice. And I have a trade magazine, and a podcast, and I own a firm, and I have international associates, all this kind of stuff. It all led from there. So it's really this EB1A uh, extraordinary ability green card for people top their field that did this. And right now, I'm running a, a weekly seminar called the EB1A Playbook. And if you're interested in learning more about it, uh, just send me a message and uh, give me your email address so I can register you. It's Friday, 10:30 a.m. Pacific time where you break down the eight disease of the EB1A process if you want to learn about it so you know what the nuances of it are. Very fascinating kind of visa type that's really helpful for a lot of people.